I've really enjoyed learning about this whole law of uh, first truths and trying to understand where these beliefs come from that people have. Because, and and I've used this example before, um, you know, because it's the easiest example to use, and maybe the most important example to use, quite frankly, but racism. You look at someone that says, I don't like this race of, of, of people. That's wrong. But why do they not like that race of people? Chances are, it goes back years and years and years and years. I've been learning some on this law of first truths. Yeah. Those lies that we've been telling ourselves or those lies that we believe, chances are they didn't just happen today. No. Like chances are they've been lies that have been ingrained in us for five, 10, 15, 20 years, maybe our entire life. Yep. Rage is huge. Like I had such a rage issue mm -hmm. and it took me hundreds of counseling sessions to attach my rage issues to being um, shamed for expressing vulnerability as a kid. Yeah. Right? And that all started from being shamed as a young kid. Yeah. And I don't know a lot about the law of first truths, but from what I've been learning, it's given me a lot of compassion for people and understanding that um, it's not really them. It's just what they have been taught and has been ingrained in them over 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Plus, yeah. And that until you go back to where that truth began, you're really not going to fix them. I think uh, it's really interesting to explore how we know what we know, right? So if you think about that, yeah. every single thing that you know, I would argue you've been taught yeah. by someone. Right. Even even the laws of gravity. Right. Like, yeah. I know this is going to fall mm -hmm. in part from observation, but also because I know about gravity because somebody sure. taught me. And I just accept that as a mm -hmm. truth. Um, I accept that the world is round. I don't have any proof of it. And the law of first truth sets a frequency mm. inside the person. Then what happens is the universe does what it always does. It provides you the evidence, you set your frequency yeah, with the, true. we hate those people. And, and the universe then provides you the evidence to continue in that hate. Mm. But I mean, what are some things that you've learned that are ways to go back and fix? Like, how do you take someone through that process? How does someone even, I mean, cause you have to be willing to go through I was that say, That's the first step, right? Yeah. Willingness, willingness to be self-aware, growth mindset. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of it is, um, we, <laughs> The psychologists are probably going to jump on me for this, but there's there's like a, a exposure therapy, right? Mm -hmm. And if I'm not exposed to, if if I hate black people, I don't hate yeah. black people. Okay, but let's just use that. If yeah. I hate black people, yeah. then if I'm never exposed to a black person and I'm mm -hmm. sitting and having a conversation with them, yeah. nothing changes, right? You sure. can tell me all the stats in the world, but unless I have a story and a personal. Mm -hmm. So I think it starts by, by making it personal.